The following training is sponsored by the Niagara Library System. We serve our member libraries in Niagara, Orleans, and Genesee counties. Please visit your local library homepage and use your library card to get access to streaming videos, downloadable music, audiobooks, ebooks, and even more from the comfort of your own home. Thank you. Hello. No, you're not seeing double. There is a YouTube video on the screen again, and you're going to see the same introduction and things of that nature, but I wanted to mention, if you did not know, you can change the captions on any YouTube video to a machine translated uh, captioning system. Now, we all know that the uh, machine transcripts for anything that goes live and videos and things of that nature, they're not 100% great. Um, but they're usually better than nothing, okay? So what I'm going to do is just show you this with uh, one of my videos. So let me go ahead <clears throat> and actually skip forward. Here we are. S skip forward a little bit, like play just a little. Your own home. Thank you. Hello. Now I have no captions on here, but if I move my mouse, as you can see here, the bottom of the screen, uh, you see the little CC block, and it says subtitles slash closed captions. If I click on that, it gives me English automatically uh, generated, all right? Today, I'm going to talk about um, erasing your internet history or erasing your browsing history from two uh, particular browsers. So you can see that the uh, auto captioning um, or subtitles are not too bad if you speak you know fairly clearly and a little bit slower they come across fairly well what if you wanted something in Spanish or French or actually any of like the 60 plus languages that Google because Google owns YouTube that Google will translate or do machine translating into you can actually change even though you're speaking one language you can change the captions to be machine generated captions of another language so once you have the captions turned on here, you'll go right over once again to the settings area. And this is where we talked about things like the playback quality. You can increase or reduce the playback quality. You can even increase or decrease the playback speed. But what we're looking at because the subtitles are on now is that subtitle and it says English auto-generated. If I click on it, I have the choices of off, English auto-generated, or auto translate and that's where I'm gonna go if I go to auto translate I actually we start and it goes A to Z just scrolling quickly through here there's more than 60 some odd languages that Google will translate to what I'm going to do is actually look for French because I have the most experience with French from uh, high school so that was <laughs> don't count that was more than 20 years ago but um, if I go ahead and I let the video play now and uh, this is going to be on my mobile device which is why we're here face to face now and uh, the two that I have and it's very difficult for me to see so I think the screen is in focus I hope it is that actually looks from my memory fairly well correct as far as the translation goes. So it may not be quite perfect, but I can certainly understand it and I can see and it and it fits with what I remember from reading French. If I go back to my settings and I go back to subtitles and again go to auto translate, I'm going to go over to Spanish. So I'm going to look for the S's in here. I found Spanish, click Spanish, and it says English auto-generated over to Spanish. I really don't know any Spanish at all, but if you do, maybe you can look at this and see if this works. I have uh, Mozilla Firefox, which I use all the time, Firefox, um, and I also have Google Chrome. So if you, this kind of relates to uh, if, if you've been sent a so I'm going to stop that there. Just mention that for machine translating, that's not bad. And if we want to do a little bit of outreach or different things that we can do um, for people who speak other languages, this is actually a fantastically easy tool to use. It is, again, not an interpreter, but 
to have something, anything to start with at least, this is actually pretty cool to look at. So I hope you found this was useful and something new, maybe that you didn't know before. If you have any ideas, let me know and we'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye now.